All right, all right. So, Elm. Good. And then, oh, we're just gonna open and close the inventory just to be safe. C. And then, V. Huh? What the fuck? <laughs>When we had last left the last dragonborn, they were on Solstheim, where they encountered the great cool mead hall of Thrisk, and it was there that they uncovered that it was being besieged by the dreaded Reekling menace. And so the dragonborn reached out a helping hand to those of Thursk and fought alongside them, sending back the Reeklings to <laughs> oblivion. <laughs> and they also went out to Hrothmund's barrow and lied. Then they returned back to the mainland for a brief spell, where they sought out a whole set of cool-looking natch leather armor, and they also got the boots of blinding speed. It was pretty neat. <laughs> now, however, it was time to return back. Yes, back to Solstheim to finish up more additional business. Actually, I'm wrong. I forgot. I forgot. Before that, of course they would need to return back to Solstheim. Are you kidding? Of course they would. Obviously, that was also in the cards. But more prescient, more important than that, was going to Kagrenzel, of course. Who could forget Kagrenzel? Yes, a return trip to Kagrenzel. The amazing Dwemer rune from not too long ago, where they would have to recover something or the other for for who who knows who oh shit but someone wanted them to go to Kagrenzel. yes it was the the return of the tribunal demanded it and it is there that they would recover probably another spark plug or something like that regardless it was time to Whole ass. This is the Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim. Welcome back. Boop. There we are. And also, before I forget, gentle viewer. Let me see here. Let's see. Anna and Samantha says, or Anna, I'm not sure, both wrote in to varying degrees about the boots of blinding speed which we now have that in fact in this game although we can't overcome it with the debuff we can't overcome it by way of oh shit i actually need to get rid of this netch leather shield <laughs> but we can't overcome it by way of using magic resist and all of that right that's a no-go however what is possible let's see here is let's see Oh, shit. What was it called? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, Vision of the Tenth Eye. Okay. See what others cannot. Any effect that is similar to Night Eye will let you see slightly. Check this out. And look at how fucking fast we are now, dude. Look at that. We're running around super duper speed, right? Now, also, Khajiit do have the ability to do this innately, right? So, rather than it being sort of like uh, Bretons and Morrowind it was, who were naturally inclined to being quite good at wearing these boots, this time around it's Khajiit. And also, anyone who just so happens to have night eye effects on potions, that'll also do you well. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't... Oh, my... What's my character doing? <laughs> okay, we'll never know. We'll never know. 
Let's see, let's put back on our regular shoes. But yeah, that could be situationally very useful. Oh, it just takes a while to to do all this. Okay. Oh, jeez. There we are. All right, so potions of night eye and stuff like that, we need to keep an eye on, right? Is there a night eye constant effect enchant or anything? It sounds like something that should exist, but I don't know if it does. We'll have to keep an eye out for it just as well. Okay. Where can I throw this shield, by the way? Oh, yeah. I should also show off the fact that, you know, hey, in between videos, we came out here and did a whole bunch of inventory management. And guess what? Jeez, I almost forgot. Perhaps the most important thing of all, this place, Lakeview Manor, is where we're at. It's complete. We've filled out everything. I've finally constructed every single little hootenanny that needs to be constructed. I even got rid of all the workbenches. Well, the one mm -hmm. things I didn't get were all the, like, uh, taxidermy and stuff, because, you know, it freaks me out, but... <laughs> Everything else is good to go, including down here. Including the entire set of shrines. Wow, look at that. How schmancy, huh? And then over here, we've also got this that needs to be filled out with some fish. Maybe I'll throw a fish in there, huh? What's a fun fish I can put inside there? An apple pie fish. <laughs> God, I wish that were the case. Okay, how about a scorpion fish? That's a large fish. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, cool. Okay. Oh shit, I should have put it up there. Can I pull that fish back out? Okay, I'm taking that. I don't mind a mounted fish. That doesn't freak me out like a... Like a mammal. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Cool. Alright. Should we throw another weird and cool fish up here? We got like a a dire fish extra, don't we? Yeah, we got quite a few of them. Wow, awesome. Okay, what's a small fish I could throw in here? I can't actually put this other stuff in here, can I? You can only put small fish in this fish tank. Okay, I wasn't sure. Maybe the fish wanted to get drunk on Sujama, right? Who doesn't fucking like that? What if I put in a cooked one? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you, you know, we're just testing the boundaries here. What is a small fish? A slaughterfish? No. A tripod? No. Uh, pfft. What the fuck is a small fish? Hmm. I don't think catfish, cod, or carp are small. Or bass. Angler are gigantic. Maybe they're one of the ingredient fish, you know? Maybe a glass catfish. Does that work? No? Hmm. Yeah, weird. Maybe all the small fish are just ingredients. Shit, I don't know what would go in there then. Here, let's put a slaughter fish up there though. Nice. Oh shit, no, it looks too perfect. It looks too good. Look, it aligns, like, too perfectly with the driftwood. Okay, let's put something else up there. Glass catfish, go. Do your thing. Oh, shit, it's tiny. It looks horrible. Okay, angler. That'll be incongruous with the... Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! All right, great. <laughs> How about we put a glass catfish right here? Huh? Okay, sorry, I really should have done this in between videos. <laughs> sorry, once again, I've just been drawn in by fish. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, where can I throw this thing? Here. Boom. Goes right there. Beautiful. Looks great. A nice round light shield. Okay. Good, good, good. Now, so we've got all this set up. We've got this cool armor here. That's the, what do you call it, the savior's hide. It'd be amazing if somehow... The boots of blinding speed detected the savior's hide like there was a specific flag on the boots to where you know let's just try it out let's just try it out why not why not because it was such a common combo in morrowind land to have savior's hide equipped and then equip the boots of blinding speed because it was such a readily accessible source of magicka resistance which it is here but of course magicka resistance isn't that good in for, uh, getting rid of the debilitating effect of the boots. Yeah, nah, nothing. Okay. That would have been fucking mind-blowing. I would have, like, shit my pants right here and right now if it actually worked. 
Oh dear lord, I've, I'm carrying around so much jewelry. It's buck wild. Okay, good. Let's put this back on. Wonderful. Okay. Let's head on up and out. But yeah, we got all that situated. Oh, and we can also look over here. Yeah, look, I've thrown up some of this. And also very weird, obviously, it's moving. But uh, <laughs> that's not the weird thing, amazingly enough. It's that when we got the full set of Netch Leather, the boots were not shadowed like the rest of it. We got this full set of it that's like all shadowed stuff from the crate. The boots were not for some reason, weirdly enough. All right. And then over here we've got, uh, well, actually nothing. Where did I put the... Oh, here's the painted one. Okay, let's turn on the lights. Which this will be quite similar to what we end up using. You know? As fun as the... The little drawings and stuff are on everything... I have to say, I have nostalgia for the baseline shit. In the core game of Morrowind Land. There were no little bits of art like this done by Reiklings or Reeklings. Gotta get that. All right, let's head on out. Oh, back this way. And we are actually going to need a shit ton of netch leather to get all of that accomplished. It's actually pretty fucking buck wild. All right. So, if we're going out to Kagrenzel, let's make sure we got Kagrenzel tracked, yeah. Find the missing curate. I guess we got a call for Odoving, right? Let's see, call dragon. Let's save in case it doesn't work. Odoving, Odoving, where are you? Odoving, Odoving. I'm putting out a ping <laughs> for Odoving. <laughs> okay, there we go. Bend will. Let's do a quick save. And let's wait for two hours. Get our ship back and ready to go. There you are. Jeez, you're really high up there. Oh my god, you're really flying down here now. Just like dive bombing right into the fucking ground. Like a dart. <laughs> like a cartoon character or something. Odoving just gets like really stiff and like goes like a dart right into the ground. It's like the cartoon sound effect of like. You know, it's like the reverberating noise. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let's get on out of here. Let's head this way. All the way over to Kagrenzel. Lovely. There we go. Cool. I wonder how far into this place we have to go. Or maybe. Oh shit. Oh shit, there is something out here. Is this the curate? Oh god, Odoving. Chill, dude. Yes, three. Wagolt. Wagolt. once. I never noticed that there was actually an orb on top of it. Huh. Is that an orb? down here. Boom. Yes. Okay. Still some of that. Good. Okay. What's going up here? Yeah, look at that. Is that fire or an orb? Hmm. You know, the last time we were here, I don't remember who it was because I, I didn't even... Honestly, I forgot about it until we just started looking at these arches. Somewhere along in here, I missed a diamond on top of an archway. There's just like a diamond posted somewhere, right? And of course, it doesn't really matter because we've got like more money than we could ever spend, right? <laughs> but there's a secret diamond hidden in here somewhere. Let's see if we can't speed all over the top. Hell yes. Oh my god, we're going to find Yoshi up here for sure. Oh, look, it is just a fire-ass fire. It's not even actually connected to the facility. It's just on its own, like... Its own pillar of eternity. Wow. Alright. Holy shit. Very neat. Jeez. Oh, okay, yeah, you like that? Are you looking at it too? It's pretty neat, huh? You ever see anything like that? Shit, I bet you see them all the time up there. Okay. But guess what, Odoving? I see all kinds of stuff that you don't see down here. Inside of dungeons and shit like that. <laughs> okay. Down here is the... No, I think it's inside. Okay. Let's head on over. Like they say, more inside. 
<laughs> maybe it wasn't Kagrenzel. Or maybe I missed it again? <laughs> did I miss it again? Hang on, did I- did I miss that shit? Yo, hang on. Where is it at? Huh. Maybe it wasn't Kagrenzel. What the fuck? Who are these two friends running by? These double elk. Huh. Oh, hey. Yo, is this... Oh, it's Moonstone. We may as well take it, though. Look, there's a cave really close by. I think that's a new cave. Must be part of some Creation Club stuff. Alright. Ooh, a flawless amethyst. Okay. There we go. Good. Alright. Yeah. Hey, if there is another diamond out here somewhere... I guess we're missing it again. <laughs> I guess here I can pop on telekinesis and sort of like pixel hunt around and it might show up. Right? Yeah, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> okay. Well, we've missed it again. Okay. So if we go in here, we do have to touch the orb again, don't we? We do have to touch the orb. Yeah, okay. Well. Something smells foul. Oh, it stinks? This is a stinking orb? Huh. Okay, well, race for impact. You know what's gonna happen. Jesus Christ. Maybe this was just for torture. You know, maybe this was just torture. It didn't serve any kind of practical purpose other than just like torturing people to get information or to break their will or to, I don't know. As sick entertainment from the Dwemer. Jesus. It is quite bad. Okay. Huh? Let's do a quick save in case we get killed here. There we go. Okay. Oh, and apparently if you search here- Yeah, you can see gigantic bones and stuff like that. Huh. Yeah, there was some right there. Oh, God. Whew. Oh. Don't get hit by the pottery. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, you can just see him from anywhere in here. Oh, jeez. Would that kill you? I feel like it would. Come on at that speed. Okay. Well, now where do I check? Hmm. <laughs> Okay. We could have gone in the other entry point. Because keep in mind, the, the little journal or whatever it was, the note with the instructions or whatever it was that sent us here. It did mention that we should not touch the orb. But we've already touched it. We know what it's like to touch the orb. We don't mind touching it again. Jeez. Touching that orb, though. It really had some seismic effects on everything, huh? Oh, shit. And it caused these people to stir just as well. Wait, can I telekinese these? Can I telekinese this? Shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was wondering, like, how effective is this? Can I- do I basically have, like, a fucking gravity gun right now, or what? <laughs> okay. Good. Let's take the ear. Tail. We'll apply the poison. Why not? Ultimate healing, some money. Good stuff. Let's chop ourselves off. Okay. Up we go. Jeez, Chisargo, you scared me. Ooh, man. Alright. What a sexy double swing. Okay, what have we got here? Moonstone again? Yeah, let's get it. Why not? We could get some weird, valuable, precious stones out of it. We'll see. There we are. Lovely. Got a ruby. I wonder if, like, the rarer metals have, like, a guaranteed chance of- Oh, fuck! Of getting you a uh, precious stone. There you go. Eat a fucking butt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the double swing again. 
Okay. Let's top ourselves off again. Grab a wing. Grab an ear. 55 Quatlus. Alright. Let's run through this place. Good. Alright. So now, as it turns out, Night Eye Potions could be, like, super duper effective to think about crafting, right? But there's very specific ingredients. I think it's some of the new Creation Club ingredients that have it. I can't remember. I didn't write that part down. Okay. A Varla Stone? Eh, why not? Okay. Over here. And... Oh. Stony Creek Cave. Okay. Is this where it's at? Yeah, yo, it is. Okay. Sure. Wait. Is that the curate right there? Yeah, there's someone here. There is someone here, you idiot. All right. There you go. Eat a butt. Oh, is that Daedric? What kind of a weapon is that? Oh, is that like some kind of cool new artifact or whatever? Oh, Okay, let's heal up real quick. I'm trying to think what bow would that be? I don't know. It looks like it's from Oblivion. You know? It looks like some shivering isle shit, maybe. Maybe you can help me. Yeah, maybe I can. Just let me check these bods real quick. One of them had a really cool bow. Sovngarde, a re-examination. Okay. We're good. I'm pretty sure this one was in... It first appeared in Blood Moon, right? The Morrowind expansion. Maybe you can help me. Uh, here we are. What is it? Ruin's Edge. Do I know Ruin's Edge? Yo! Oh, this thing looks like it's made by the fucking Zerg from StarCraft. Whoa. Ruin's Edge. This must be a Morrowind item, though, huh? I'm just not familiar with Ruin's Edge. Look, it just goes to show how little of an archery person I really am. Even though in Morrowind Mondays Volume 2, I'm trying to do good with archery, right? I'm trying, I'm making an effort to be an archer lord, right? But to be fair, <laughs> uh,. We are mostly using crossbows. <laughs> and thrown weapons. Oh, imagine if they put back in thrown weapons. Now, that'd be really difficult, because you'd have to get a whole bunch of, like, new animations and stuff. Okay. It has, like, a moving eye, I think. Randomly applies one of these effects to the target. Frost, demoralize, frenzy, drain magicka, paralyze. Okay. And some Daedric arrows, of course. Iron ore. 250 gold. Okay, this is definitely some Oblivion shit. It's gotta be. This motherfucker was carrying around five billion different kinds of cheese. If this isn't some shit from, like, the Shivering Isles, what the fuck was this person doing with all this cheese? Right? This had to be a weapon from the Shivering Isles, from, like, Dementia, or what, from the Demented Area, or whatever it was called, I forget. Right? It had to have been. Otherwise, it's really fucking strange that they're carrying around so much cheese. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm just eating it all. Good. Let's take a look at it. This has got to be from Oblivion, you know? It's got to be. Oh, the eyeball actually moves. Yeah. I thought I was just seeing stuff before, but yeah, it actually moves. And does it blink sometimes? Did it blink once? Yeah, it does. Oh, that's wild. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's gnarly as shit. Okay. Sure. How's it look in third person? It's quite thick. Okay. Well, not really my thing, you know? Not my style. I'm sure it's the style of a whole bunch of people who see the big fucking eyeball on it looking back at them and they're like, fucking sick! Holy shit! That looks so fucking cool in this! Eh, <laughs> not for me. Alright. Let's go over here. I do appreciate the folks 
who see that though and and think, oh, this is this this was made for me, right? I appreciate it. There we go. Takes all kinds. Skeleton, have you got seven gold and some bone meal? Okay, good. Hey. Maybe you can help me. Maybe I can. Cure it, Melita. Actually, I'm going to kill you and take the mask. Do you have the mask? I'm here to rescue you on behalf of the goddess. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. I'm here to rescue you on behalf of the goddess. Oh, good job. Here, my way of saying thanks. Mask of Sotha Sil. Oh, okay. Cool. Look, we you helped the. From me? We helped out three times as well. Do you have anything of, else of interest on you? Two cooked catfish. Some gold rings. I'm taking the fish. And the rings. Get away <laughs> Thank <from> you. Me. <laughs> okay. Over here. She's got like a. Her voice, it's old lady voice, isn't it? Huh. Uh, who did this? It was me! At first I thought it was maybe Argonian, but no, I don't think so. I think the rasp is more in line with elderly. Right. Which to be clear, in Skyrim I'm pretty sure like if you're old, they've defined your character's race as like there's just a race of old people or something by way of the game's uh, metrics of tracking shit, right? That way they could have specific voices for old people and, you know, like, wrinkly, extra wrinkly skin or something like that, I believe. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's see. Are you just gonna walk on out of here now? Yeah? Okay. Sure. Yes. Oh, fuck. Someone do something. <laughs> Let the fight of a Someone do something. <laughs> okay. Oh. There we go. Good. What have you got? <laughs> Jeez. She's pretty fucking fearless. I'm surprised once we killed the bandit, she didn't just try running out. Did this. Oh, she turned around just to look at <laughs> just to look at the body. I was like, whoa, where are you going now? Oh wait, how's she gonna get out of here? Isn't this doesn't this lead to like a drop down point? Uh... Huh. Doesn't no did, or I don't fucking remember. Oh hey. Someone just sitting here. Oh, shit. My mighty hammer does not reach that far. <laughs> There we go. Good stuff. Love you, God. Oh. 53 big ones. Okay. Some shroomages. Some strange asshole back here. Oh, there's a booby trap. Oh, God. It was just the lightning. I thought it was the booby trap that, like, was about to fuck me up big time. <laughs> it was just the lightning breaking spell breaker. All right. Jeez, yeah. Spell breaker, huh? More like spell broken. But <laughs> I'm. Good lord. Oh look, fire salts. That's useful. Uh, Mystery of Talara, Volume 4, pretty uh, sure. Yep, we've looked at that. Ectoplasm. Some death bell. Big orange dart wing. Okay. How about in here? Anything good? Meh. Just some strangely enchanted uh, equipment. Okay, sure. Yeah, I forget. This will lead out a regular passage, won't it? This just leads to, like, a... a doorway out to Skyrim, I think. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I wonder where she went. Was she that fast? Huh. Wow, look at her navigate this. Wow. Smells foul. How long did that take to work out, I wonder? You know? They could have just had her stay there and I would have been fine with that. I would have been like, yeah, sure, I'll... You're... I need to recoup. I need to gather my, my thoughts and stuff before I get out of here, right? Very video game reason for keeping an NPC in place when you don't want to have to do pathing for them out of a weird location. 
Okay. We have found a cave. I don't think there are warm fires and friendly faces inside. That said, maybe maybe Skyrim's AI was just able to navigate her right out of there well enough, you know? Maybe that's how good it was right there. I don't know, I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> the pathing good in Skyrim? I guess it's possible. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's head on up out of here. And let's go on over to... Hmm. We just need to hit up Windhelm again, don't we? Yeah. Let me double check here. Return to the temple. Okay. Right. Yeah, just return to the temple. Okay, let's do it. Great. Oh, you know what? We never looked at the Mask of Sotha Sil. We were so distracted by her voice. Oh my god, yeah, by her voice. Holy shit. Jesus Christ, Sothasil, what a fucking mask. Mind you, you never really get too good of a look at it in in Morrowind because when you find Sothasil, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> huh. Oh, it is cool that there's a labyrinth though on this part. That's a nice touch. Uh I'm not sure the reason for the coloring, though. You know, parts of it are... You know, parts of it are copper-colored, and then other sections are kind of, like, irregularly... They're forming, like, a patina. Huh. Weird. It, it did it in such a strange fashion. Huh. I wonder why that is. Okay. Still caked in blood. Alright. Let's bring this up. Let's head on out. Alright. Okay. Oh, you know what? Maybe this is the perfect time to use our new super boots. Right? Maybe this is it. Let's see. Let's activate the eye. Okay. Jazargo. Get ready to witness some wild ass shit that hasn't been seen in a million years. <laughs> yeah, who who knows how long it's it's been since it's been seen? Cause you know the effect on it, it blinds you. <laughs> Jesus, I'm full of them today. Okay, there we are. Ah, we gotta wait for the telltale ready sound effect. Okay, here goes nothing. I feel like we're we're faster in first person, honestly. Do you think it buffs and bolsters the ability of our shout? Oh. I don't think it did at all. <laughs> okay. Wow. This is pretty good. Alright. Supposedly it like oh shit. Supposedly it doubles your speed. Okay. I wonder if it just doubles your base speed or like your current total. Let's turn off the, the boots right here so I can actually see this bear. Yeah, I wonder if those effects stack if you're a Khajiit, you know? The spell effect and your khajiit racial and all that. My ink was here somewhere. I don't know where they went to, though. We'll never know. Just another weird mystery of Maik, huh? Just another weird... Oh, here, here you are. Hiding in the bush. Look, Maik it's has like camouflage. To be your friend. <laughs> the people of Skyrim are more open-minded about certain things than people in other places. Maik knows why Falmar are blind. It has nothing to do with the Dwemer disappearing, really. Maik is tired now. Go bother somebody else. Wow, I think we finally got a bunch of new ones. Okay. Keep your hands to yourself. Oh, sorry, Maik. Okay. Let's get that eye back. What is it even listed under? It's illusion. Okay. There we 
are. Good. And let's re-equip the boots. Hell yes. Okay, we're going we're going at a pretty good pace here. We go we go decently fast. Look at this. Holy shit, we're kind of booking it. Still not quite as fast as Morrowind Landa. Huh? And certainly not Oblivion when we were literally able to get like a rocket powered horse. Prior Mabel literally could fly. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna outrun this kitty cat. There's some people over there with bows, I think. Okay. Let's pop open the big map. We're going the right way. Okay. We better quick save in case I, like, go flying into a wall or something. There we go. We're doing good with that saber cat. Good stuff. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of wild. <laughs> okay. Boom. Buff that back up. Alright. Over here. You know, if it does stack with all the effects you can have going at once, I wonder how high you can get it. You know? Maybe we could, like, outrun Odiving. You know, depending on how far away it is, we probably could. Like, what if we go so fast at some point that, like, the loading screens and dismounting and waiting for Odiving and trying to get all the shit done correctly to call in Odiving, it actually becomes not worth it, you know? Because we can go s just that fast. Huh. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. <laughs> fuck. Okay, okay. It was just, it was just a, a muscle reflex kicked in. You know, the muscle reflex that... <laughs> to where I want to die. <laughs> you know, everybody's got that reflex where you just want to see like a cliff sign. You just want to jump off of it. it. <laughs> All right, let's heal on up. Good. Okay. Captain Gallon does the business around here. I'm just a ship's mate. Hey, I... Gallon. Let's just double check. Yeah, return to the temple. Mm -hmm. I'd like to book My passage. Ship's ready to sail. If Load up, and we'll get underway. Let's do it. If you're looking for passage, talk to Captain Gallon. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. Now, let's head on over here. Should we go rest up real quick at our place before we go check in at the secret hidden base? I think so. I think that's a good idea. Alright. Oh, look at these little friends. Wink. Okay. Luna moth wings and a torch bug butt. Let's head down here. And we'll do a quick rest. Until, I guess, morning of the next day. Now let's go for eight hours. That should be good. There we are. Chow down some salmon. And haul our booty out of here. Good, good, good. Now this time we really need to be looking out for the mighty Netch, right? We are in dire need of their leather. In fact, maybe we should check the vendor lords once they open up. Just buy them all out. Okay. This way. Good. Ooh. Oh! <gasps> is this what I think it is? Oh my gosh, these are ash zombies. How? What are you all doing here? No way. How can this be? What? I guess if they survived, right? Huh. Wow, the fucking shirtless men of yore. Oh, shit. Get a fucking look at that. Oh, my God. Yo, holy fuck. Okay. Huh. 
Sure. Jeez. Alright. Well, let's head on over here. Let's see what else is new. Good, good, good. Oh, you know what? When I was looking at Sothasil's hat... Oh shit, clear the temple of ash zombies. Holy fuck! How are they back? It must just be, like, remains of them. Oh, alright, alright. I was wondering if the mask of Sothasil actually had an effect to it. It does not. Which I guess may be for the best. That way you can sort of do your own enchantment. Huh. Like, I guess you could still... Like, after the events of Morrowind, Corporus can theoretically still spread. As long as there are Corporus monsters and stuff, and there's a sample of Corporus somewhere. It can keep going on. That said, I'm not sh I'm not entirely sure that Ash zombies are infected by Corporus. You know? Like, they don't, sure, they don't have the eyes and whatnot, but I don't think that's because of Corpus necessarily. Huh. Okay. Wow, that's so- that's so fucking cool! I really didn't expect to find them. Okay. Man, that makes me wonder what other fucking creatures are we gonna see? <laughs> look at them go. Yeah, <laughs> the fucking shirtless men are back! Yeah, look at them go! <laughs> <laughs> the sleeper is awake! Alright. Fuck yeah. Good stuff. I like how some of them do, in fact, have shoes, too. <laughs> Just as it always was. The one bit of clothing. Okay. I'm afraid that I'm gonna smack these ordinators. Oh shit, do I need to re-equip the hat? Yeah, I do, don't I? Yeah, here. They won't notice. <laughs> okay, great. Good. There we go. Cool. Done. Sarah. Hey. Azura's wisdom to you, Fred. What the hell happened here? They have anything on them? Nah. As per usual. Except for the foot wraps. Man, that's so fucking cool. Wow. Oh, look. Some came back in from this way. Jazargo's taking them on. Okay. Dude, it's so cool to see them like this. I mean, I know they're not that weird looking. It's. It, I just really didn't expect it at all. <laughs> I just really, truly did not anticipate seeing this. There we go. Man, I hope we see a weirder one, though. God, that would be so fucking amazing if we saw a weirder looking one. Like one with a, like, big trunk. Or a ascended sleeper or something like that. Or even someone with corpus. Holy shit. You'd have to imagine that there can't be, like, a loose strain of corpus anywhere. It's probably all contained, I'd imagine. I don't know. I guess in the chaos of the Red Year, it could have gotten out anywhere. Right? Certainly it's a possibility. Okay. And remember, this, all this, it's canon until it's not, right? Such a great idea, I think. Okay. We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. Oh. Yes, Sarah? I've completed the goddess's tasks and took care of those things outside. I await the goddess's command. Her word is our law. I've passed out the letters spreading her word. I've completed the tasks. Azura bless you. Tribunal Armory Key. Mm. Is there anything I can do to stop these attacks? Of course. Of course. It's all in this note. Hell yeah, she loves to write. Okay. Matriarch Drevlin's note. Let's give it a quick read. Everyone here in this, uh, <laughs> this, this place, they're all people of very few words. Okay. But they love to write. Matriarch Drevlin's note. Oh, we have to go to the armory, apparently. Rumors have stalked the temple halls of the return of the Charmat, spreader of Corpus, 
the corrupter of hearts. <laughs> the architect of the Akulakan. I speak, of course, of the Blighted One, Dagoth Ur. We now know this word has been spread by a treacherous priest who once served her faithfully. The diviner or diviner, necromancer, and my former friend, Erden Relvel. Oh! It is his creations that accosts her temple, but I know not the source of his power. My fear is the truth may be found in the armory. Before we begin building, before we began building this temple, my predecessor gave me a gift, or rather, a responsibility, a box. The box was to be placed in the armory, but never opened. In fact, his voice stumbled at the mere mention of it, and his hands gripped the edges as if to drop it would shatter the world. As such, I heeded his warning when he begged me to never to look inside. To this day, I do not know how to open the rear gate. Yet the restoration of this temple has required many hands, and not all of them hers. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, that's such a nice bit of- that is such a nicely crafted sentence. <laughs> it's possible someone has found a way inside. Take the armory key I have given you and investigate the area. Only with the full power of the tribunal and our goddess's will can evil be vanquished. Huh. That's so interesting that now they may have to contend with this. Weird. Okay. Let's go and see. Oh. Oh, look, have they built this section up now? I think they have. Yeah, it looks way better now, I think. There's something you need. I'm just poking around. Okay. Oh, look. Is it just me? Or is the clutter set up on the shelves in a very Morrowind way as well, right? Very uniformly placed. <laughs> Am I tripping balls or is that normally par for the course? Oh, look, there's a drum there. Of course, as we know in Morrowind, that would be a Guar skin drum. Okay. Oh, hey, there's new folks here. There's a blacksmith. Need something. Whoa, what have you got for sale? Take a look. Whoa, do they have a bunch of the new shit here? It looks like it. Redoran Watchman's Helm, Indoril Helmet, Common Robes. Oh yeah, this is all the Morrowind fashion. These are all the Morrowind robe styles. Extravagant ones. I wonder if there's exquisite. I guess we would see it right here. E, you know. Chitin Heavy, Stalrim Shield. Hmm. Okay. Indoril boots. Okay. Anything else? Any interesting weapons or anything like that? Hunting bow. Pickaxe. A load of different kinds of arrows. Oh, some netch leather. I'm gonna buy it. Eight of them, in fact. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna buy that silver, too. Let's see. Anything else here? Huh. Nah. Nah. Okay. Wow. Good stuff. Good selection there. Do you have a tanning rack or whatever I can use? Doesn't look like it. There's okay. something you need. How about you? Who are you? Hi there. Yes. Nah, nothing. Okay. Man, this is so fucking cool. I fucking love this so much. Oh look at this weird asshole back here. Oh yeah, the armory. I bet these are all mannequins filled with a full set each. Oh, wait. Wait, how do I... Yeah, how do I... Oh, okay. Just had to do it twice. Wow. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, I'm surprised at the hat that was meant for the disguise Kenros. I'm surprised it wasn't a Redoran Watchman's helm. Because that looks so much better than the Ordinator one with it. Right? Because of the scarf right there? Yeah, it looks so much better, I think. Huh. I almost wonder if it was a mistake. 
that they accidentally gave him the wrong helmet. I'm not sure. That said, you know, the Indurel helmet is has way more significance than just the standard Redoran Watchman helm. Oh yeah, look at this. Ebony Mace. Wow. I'm kind of tempted to use it, although it's not my favorite kind of a blunt weapon, you know? It's got the little spikes in it. Okay. Some scimitars. Oh. oh another forge gem. I think we've already got this one, right? Yeah. Huh. Well, I guess... I guess they all go inside the same receptacle. Yeah, okay. Oh shit, what is this? Oh, I can open it. Oh, it's Skull Crusher! Wow, welcome to my secret lair. Oh, and what is this? Is this, um... It's either gonna be Magebane or Chrysomir, isn't it? Magebane! Hell yes! Does Chrysomir already exist in the core game of Skyrim? It might. I can't remember anymore. But I'm pretty sure Chrysomir was also... Man, look at that! I gotta wield that. You know, I'm not much of a sword guy, but fuck. This is a Morrowind-ass looking glass two-handed sword. Look at this! Oh my god, it looks fucking amazing, dude! Holy shit! Oh my goodness. But you know what? I think they were a little longer in Morrowind, right? I think they were a little bit more oversized in Morrowind. Huh. Interesting. Because obviously they couldn't make it longer. Like, they could do it, but they, you wanted to shrink it down. You would want to shrink down the model to where it's at least kind of indicative of the actual hitbox of the weapon itself, you know? You wouldn't want to make it, like, true to Morrowind style. But I'm pretty sure it was about, I don't know, at least 25% larger, maybe 33%. 33.33, repeating, of course, percent. I'm not sure. But wow, look at the, like, hilt of it and everything. It's the hilt, right? Oh my god, that's Morrowind as fuck. Jeez, I kind of want to leave everything here. And how about Skull Crusher? Now here's a motherfucker. Does 30 points of stamina damage. Oh yeah, what does it even do? 60 points of magicka damage. Eh? And you know what? You don't have to worry about <laughs> it fucking breaking, huh? Okay. Skull Crusher. And it's still lightweight, right? It's still a very lightweight two-hander. I think. Yeah, because Magebane even weighs more than it. Yeah, shit, my one-handed hammer weighs more. Because this was one of the... Uh, more interesting factors about Skull Crusher in Morrowind was that it was an okay weapon with a decent enchant on it. But what, where it really shined was that it was like ridiculously low weight. I want to say it was a, a one-hander though. Though, no, maybe not. I can't remember. I never ah. used it though. I remember uh, a gentle viewer. I don't, I don't know why I even remember this, but a gentle viewer wrote in saying that it was like their favorite weapon in all of Morrowind and, like, their go-to for the longest time. And I can appreciate it. It's got a fun, cool look to it, you know? It looks great. Alas, I'm not a two-handed dude. Okay, you know what? I kind of just want to keep these and take them and put them somewhere in the core game. <laughs> Honestly, you know what? After this, maybe we should, like, raid all of these stores here. Well, no, because we can just craft these up and, like, move over the extras, you know? The weapons we can't craft up. I'm, I'm sure these are, yeah, standard weapons. We could craft these, I think. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Oh, whoa, light of day, I missed it. Whoa. Light of day, I don't really remember. Hmm. 15 points of sun damage. Undead targets take triple damage. Looks like a very standard bladed mace. Is that what you call this? I don't know. It's definitely not a hammer. That would have been a blunt weapon. For sure. Wow. What are these, like, scrolls of divine intervention? You know what I'm saying? Shit. Fuck, I'm, I'm fucking loving this. I'm like, I'm like a kid in a fucking candy store. I'm eating this shit up. I'm even looking over here like, 
Man, that's a Morrowind looking candle. That candle looks like it's from fucking Morrowind. <laughs> wow. I love it, man. I fucking love it. Holy shit. Oh. This is so fucking rad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is there anything else over here? Any other cool weird weapons? I'm super unfamiliar with Light of Day. Is this the weapon that you would get from doing the vampire quest arc? I remember we used the shield extensively in volume one of Morrowind Mondays. Because the shield was like, it had really good effects on it that you couldn't custom enchant because normally shields couldn't control or couldn't like hold that much power on them. It had like such a cool um, enchant that came with it. I'm pretty sure that Light of Day is the other weapon that you got alongside it during the Vampire Quest arc in Morrowind. Here's a question. To anyone who is completely unfamiliar with Morrowind, has, has us going through this, through Ghosts of the Tribunal, at least so far, has this piqued your interest any? Just out of curiosity. Or, or even before, if you were familiar with this beforehand, and you played this when Anniversary Edition came out, right? You played this and did it on your own. Did going through it on your own pique your interest in Morrowind? Did it get you to, to like, play the game yourself? Or even just watch Morrowind Man Mondays or someone else playing it on a playthrough or a stream or something like that? Very curious about that. Always interesting. More ways to get people into that shit. Okay. Ooh, I wonder what's back here. Okay, okay. We should probably read the note. <laughs> All right. Priest Arthamus's or Arthamus's note. Use the mannequins to solve the armory room puzzle. Oh, fuck, it's a puzzle? The matriarch does not speak of what remains locked behind the gate. She says our way is to serve the goddess and the tribunal, but Erdin was right. The artifact speaks to us. I feel its heartbeat rattling in my head like a loose rock. Rattle, rattle, rattle. A curious song, not a heart of blood, but stone. The Yet the gate remains... For all intents and purposes, impenetrable. I see no levers or chains, no secret buttons under the display cases. There is nothing here save a few broken pillars and the mannequins. In fact, I grew so weary of their stares I covered their faces with masks. It was not until that moment that the solution came to me. What if the mannequins themselves are the key? Three faces and three masks. A tribunal. But which mask goes on which face? When memory fails, I go to the sculptor's room and pray at the shrine so that I can match blessing to symbol. I feel now I can solve the puzzle, but without the masks, it's useless. Odin hates it when I worry. He tells me to be patient, and masks or not, our master will show us the way. I have no choice but to believe. Ah, uh, okay. Huh. Sure. So then... Oh. The mask of Almalexi is already here. What? How can that be? Oh, look, they're all doubled up. Oh, just as everything else was before. Just a strange bug. Okay. Hey, that's good for me. <laughs> we, we can get a free set of everything here, then. Wonderful. Okay. So, we'll take the Mask of Almalexia. Alright. So, what was the shit on our way in? I don't even remember. Or fuck, should we go, even even though we may be able to figure it out here? Because my guess would be it's the same as the key to entering the entire place, right? That's my guess. But even if that is the case, or maybe it's not, right? Maybe it's a completely different solution. Let's go to the sculpting room anyway. 
Let's investigate there and see if there's anything of interest. Let's take the long route. Because you know what happened the last time we took the long way around for this? We got the fucking boots of blinding speed, baby. That's what we got. All right. What are we looking at in here? How about... Ah. Uh, right, and you're not done yet, are you? Okay. Hmm? Hey. So, it'll probably be Almalexia, Sothacil, and Vivek. Right? ASV. Alright. Alm CV, if you will. Okay. Over here. Good. And then. Well, we already took the mask of Almalexia off of this one. Should we... I guess we'll reapply it. Why not? Huh. I do love that... Especially for the Mask of Almalexia, it really has accrued a patina over time. It's very... Clearly aged. God, it's so good. I mean, look at this fucking thing. The detailing on it. Whoever made this, it definitely seems like a fucking labor of love in a major fucking way. Oh my god, it's fucking incredible. Alright, alright. So, Elm. Good. And then... Oh, we're just gonna open and close the inventory just to be safe. C. And then... V. Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, how do you activate it then? How do you activate it? Let's see. Use the mannequins to solve the armory room puzzle. What the fuck? How do you use the mannequins then? Hmm. Yeah, how can it be done? What the fuck? Yeah, I have no idea then. Huh. Is there a clue around these? Maybe? Maybe it's these? Huh. Maybe you just need to take off the hats. Right? And then put on Almalaxias. Right? Elm. C. V. Huh? <laughs> what the fuck? How do you do it then? Oh, shit. I'm the dumbest man alive. Here, I thought we'd figured something out. And there's no, like, I'm ready to solve the puzzle. Yeah. It'll just solve itself. In some way. What the fuck? How can it be? Okay. Or maybe you're meant to mimic the... The standard there. Right? In which case, we should change these two. Okay. So then this one is Amalexia. And then this one is Sothacil. Huh? Hey, there we go. We got there in the end. We got there in the end. All right, great. Examine the chest. Jeez, look, we have to RP walk because we're encumbered. Very, uh, very spooky. Okay. Flawless Sapphire, three gold. Taking it. Take the money. Leave the goblet. And what's inside? Adept robes of restoration? An amulet of Stendar. Oh, and Hope's Fire. Ah. Okay. Target takes 30 points of shock damage and half as much magicka damage. Wow, yeah, thanks to Skyrim. I think we even touched on this in Morrowind Monday's Volume 1. But we can actually now wield <laughs> both of these. 
you can dual wield them now. You can dual wield Hope's Fire and Mysterious Unenchanted Weapon that we got earlier. <laughs> You'll be able to dual wield them if you so want. Wow. How neat. That said, the enchants on them aren't too great. Okay. But, you know, hey, if you're a sucker for this shit, it's a cool time to dual wield them if you want. Okay, I'll take that. We'll take Erdin Relvel's note. All right. Good. Let's take these back. I definitely want these on me. There we are. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> the mannequin is now in naked mode. Okay. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. And... Were there shoes? There were definitely shoes, right? <laughs> oh, fuck. There we go. Oh. Why didn't it go on to you? Oh, weird. Huh. It doesn't seem to want to fucking take them. Okay. Well, let's put on the boots first. Or before the, the robe. What the hell? Oh, what a mystery. Okay. Well, I'll do the boots very first. Oh, the boots don't want to go on. Huh. Weird. What the heck? Yeah, this one's wearing the boots. Okay. And then we'll put a hat back on that one. And this dude wasn't wearing a hat. Okay. Sorry, friend. Your boots are... Gone as hell. Okay, maybe we'll have to reload the area or something. I'm not sure. You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. Let's see. Jizargo, I really don't want to give you this armor so that you'll wear it. <laughs> Lead on. Okay, let's see. Where can we stash this shit? I guess we can just throw it in the fucking corner, right? That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, here we go. Oh, somehow I got a Nordic carved helmet. Huh. Alright. We'll just throw these over here. You know, this is close enough to a corner. Great. Cool. <laughs> See, it is like Morrowind. We've, we've just dropped a whole bunch of shit everywhere. Alright. Good. Now, if only, like, inside of here, the physics on dropping stuff wasn't enabled. <laughs> okay, okay. Cool. Oh, and notice when we remove all of that, the thingamajig does stay raised. All right. Well, holy shit. I suppose when next we come back, we will read the note and we will continue on with the amazing quests and all that, you know? Right? Maybe we should haul some of this shit out of here, right? Maybe in between videos, I can haul some of this back to Raven Rock and all that and get it set up in our fun little place. We could do that for sure. Yeah. And have it be like a staging ground or something for when we want to haul shit back to the mainland. Because as much as I love this, we're just not going to be able to appreciate it much of the time because, you know, we where are the chances that we'll come back here? This ain't the mainland. What are we doing? Oh. All right. Well, until next time, please take care of each other.